everyone hope you all are doing well today i'll be showing you how to make a perfect juicy gulab jamun Here I have taken 3 4th cup of milk powder. Make sure to use good quality milk powder for better results. Here I have taken needle, needle milk powder. To this I am adding 1 4th cup of room temperature milk. Room temperature milk means the milk is neither hot nor cold, just room temperature. To that I am adding 2 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. Now let's mix everything properly. Alright, this is mixed well. So to this we will add 1 4th cup of all purpose flour or maida. And also we will add half teaspoon of baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder. Okay. Now let's mix everything together. We don't need to knead it too much. Just mix it. Make sure to use baking powder and not baking soda um, because baking soda is very strong. So if you use this much amount of baking soda, your gulab jamun may break. To make perfect and soft gulab jamun, we need to measure the ingredients correctly. Otherwise, we may end up making very tough gulab jamun or even cracked gulab jamun. Alright, and now let's make sugar syrup. Uh, to make sugar syrup, to this pan I'm adding 2 cups of white sugar and a little less than 2 cups of water, that is like 1 3 4 cup of water. So to this I'm adding few pots of cardamom and few strands of saffron, that is elaka and uh, kunguma puva. Now mix everything together and allow this to boil. I'm making small bowls here because I like to make small size gulab jamun rather than big ones. But if you want to make big size gulab jamun, you can make big bowls. So with this amount of measurement, I got 17 small bowls here. But if you are making big bowls, you will get like 14 to 15 uh, bowls, like 14 to 15 gulab jamun. Now you can see it starts to boil. Uh, my flame is medium now and to this I'm adding 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. We are adding lemon juice to avoid crystallization because sugar syrup can crystallize. So to avoid that we are adding 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. Next we need to add 1 teaspoon of rose water or two three drops of rose essence i don't have rose water what i have here is rose essence that's why i'm adding two three drops of rose essence but if you have rose water you can add up to one teaspoon but essence is strong that's why i'm adding only two to three drops of uh, rose essence so now we'll mix all together and let it boil for like four to five minutes or until we get a sticky consistency when you touch uh, the sugar syrup you should feel sticky that's what you're looking for and uh, we don't want a string consistency we want only sticky consistency so now we can off the burner let's fry these balls here I have enough oil for frying and I kept my burner in low flame Always keep the flame low for frying these gulab jamuns, otherwise they may burn and uh, it won't cook properly. Fry until these balls turn light brown in color. Now 
now this is done and I'm going to take this out. I'm going to drain this to a paper towel. Now here I'm going to fry the second batch in the same way. Alright, now let's add these to the sugar syrup and let it soak. Make sure that the sugar syrup is hot. If it's not hot, just switch on the flame and just make it hot. No need to boil, just to make it hot. So we have added everything to the sugar syrup and let's mix everything together. My sugar syrup was not hot enough. So I switched on my burner just to make it hot. Alright, so the syrup is hot now. So I'm going to off the burner and I'm going to cover this and keep until it doubles its size. Approximately 30 minutes to 1 hour. Okay, so here our gulab jamuns are perfectly soaked in sugar syrup and it's good to serve now. And I'm gonna decorate with some pistachios job, but that's optional. So our tasty and juicy gulab jamuns are ready now. Please try making these. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll be back with another great recipe. Until then you all take care and God bless.